Hi, I'm Debbie Pepperell, and you're listening to the weekly tip from Painless Financial Training Group. Today, I'm talking about year-end inventory counts. So, if you are a proprietorship, then your year-end is December 31st, and if you sell a product, you have inventory. If you have inventory, you have to count your inventory on December 31st. The same rules hold for businesses, corporations, that have December 31st year-ends, which is a very popular year-end. So if you have products, you have inventory, you've got to figure out what you had in inventory on December 31st being the last day of your year. So this will require some planning. You can count on December 31st, but this is no one's favorite day to count, it being New Year's Eve. Or you can wait and count on January 2nd when you come back to work, but you know maybe that's not popular either. You need to figure that out. Perhaps you're closed from Christmas till New Year's. There might be a day in there you can count. No matter what you plan, though, you do have to count before you open again in January. Do you already know how much you have in inventory? Because you have a system called a perpetual inventory system, which actually keeps track of when something's sold, when something's bought, so you always have a list of what you have on hand. If you have that list, then maybe you can just test count it and see if it's accurate. That would take less time. If you don't have that list, then it's going to take longer to count your inventory because you do have to count every single thing. So, this is the tip. You've got until January 2nd to get this count done. It will go a lot quicker if you do some planning now.